So since it's close to Valentine's Day, I thought I'd give the dudes a little advice this time. You need to get a date. Did I stutter? You heard me. You don't see this happen before, you'll be walking somewhere, you'll see a dude with a cute girlfriend, right? She's looking out fly, she look good, alright? Maybe some dudes will just look at her like do that head turn when she walk past. Maybe some dudes will make a comment and you get this response. Hey yo, what the f you looking at nigga? You see that right there? She with me. You better put your eyes back in your motherfucking head, cuz. Put them shits back in there for you. Yo, correct me if I'm wrong. You just said that was your girlfriend, right? Why the hell are you so mad for? I never understand this response. And personally, it's probably because I've never given anybody this response before. When somebody admires my girlfriend, if she gets mad about it, yes, maybe I'll address it. But I, why Why would I get mad? I'm, she's my girlfriend. Like I, You can say anything you want, but at the end of the day, she's my girlfriend. I take pride when people look at my girlfriend and go, damn. <laughs> You're damn right, damn. <laughs> this is all you as a dude being insecure. And I'm not saying you're an insecure person, but that is an insecure moment. Everybody's allowed to have them, and you just had one. I know what you're thinking right now. Nah, not me, dog. Mm -mm. Nah, I can handle mine. All right, let me give you a little scenario real quick. Let me give you a scenario. Let's say you just got some brand new shoes, right? And a small, nerdy, Steve Verbal kid walks up to you and goes, hey, um, hey, uh, uh, night, hey, uh, nice shoes. You're probably gonna take that as him admiring your shoes, cause that's what he's doing. He doesn't want the pair off your feet, but maybe he wants some like those. And that's how you're gonna take that. Now let's say a big, bulking, Terry Crews, Debo looking dude walks up to you. Nice shoes, little ass nigga. He booty clenched a little bit, didn't it? He's just admiring them too. So why you bending down and lacing them new J's? You know, hey, uh, you know, you can take these back to the store. You know, you know, I'm a size 11, you know, and everything. But you know, you look like you like 12, 13, 14. I don't even, I don't even need to know. I don't need, look, I don't even need to know. Hey, <laughs> you, you gonna need the receipt with that? Why? Cause you feel threatened. You feel like whether you want it or not, if you wanted to take your shoes, there's not much you could do about it. Same thing applies when somebody comments on your girl. The only reason you would get upset yourself is that you think that he has a chance of taking her. And you shouldn't have that fear. This is a random dude. You are her boyfriend. You got her. And assuming you've been doing everything you need to do as a good boyfriend to keep her, you shouldn't be mad. You should view it as somebody admiring something you have and feel proud that you did whatever you had to do to get it. Still don't feel anything I'm saying? I want you to go back and watch this year's Grammys when Jamie Foxx goes on stage and proceed to say how fine Beyonce is while Jay-Z sitting right next to her. But did you see Jay-Z better eye? Did you see him get angry? No. Why? Because he's going home with Beyonce. They performed early on in the night and she was grinding on him, not Jamie Foxx. Why? Why should he care? Uh, nigga, I get to go home with Beyonce. Why do I give a f about you? Dude, you need to be a little more secure about yourself and your ability to keep your girl. The more secure you are in your relationship, the more masculine you'll be. The more attractive you'll be to your girl. But all this little, oh, I don't, I just don't be talking about my girl like that, dog. That made me feel uncomfortable. Be confident in your ability to keep your girl for some Trey Songs looking dude come by singing and take her. I bet the neighbors know my name, my name, my name, name. I just heard the waterfall after I sung those notes. It was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, you like that. Please like this video on Facebook and YouTube. Share it as much as possible. Like I said, the more response I get from this video, the more it's going to promote me to do another. Tell me if you think it's funny. Tell me uh, if you don't think it's funny. Nigga, 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 today. Want me to call a mini over for you? Lonely ass nigga. I'm turning off the heat. Y'all motherfuckers can freeze for all I care.